a piece of musical history nestled right here in New York City. Did you know that the largest pipe organ here in the five boroughs is actually right in Midtown? St. Bartholomew's Church in Midtown East is a national landmark for its ornate architecture and beautiful marble and mosaics, but its sound is as beautiful as its site. But the most important thing about this building, I think, and many would agree, is that it functions like a musical instrument. Nestled inside of the four walls and dome of St. Bart's, the city's largest pipe organ. 12,422 pipes. A musician recently said to me, it's very much, attending a concert here, is very much like sitting inside a violin or a cello when it's being played. Not only can you hear it, but you can feel it. This building is sort of surround sound on steroids in 1920. Paolo, this is the largest organ in New York City, and you are the man behind it. How, how does that feel for you as an organist to know that you're behind such a powerful instrument? It's a thrill. I mean, it's an instrument that has a huge range from the softest sounds to the to the very loudest, and you're here to lead uh, in concerts and to lead in, in services throughout, and it's just a wonderful thing to have people singing along with you or to play solo and to have the sound come from all over the building. The sound envelops you and comes to you not only from the front on both sides and the back, but even from above. So there's a famous dome on the church, and the dome has pipework in it so that the sound is coming from above down to uh, the listener as well. So there's pipes inside of the dome. Correct, correct. It's called the celestial division. That's right. That is pretty cool. I mean, how many people can say that they play an organ with pipes in the, I mean, that's That I wild. can think of in the world, I think there are two others. Two I others, think, yeah. wow. So this is yeah. exclusive company that we're with right now. Some pipes in this behemoth instrument date all the way back to the original St. Bart's in 1872, to the newest pipes from 1969. So to pick one example, when you or I go to, uh, say, a movie theater, there might be subwoofers to make low sounds and to, and to, to create a kind of a rumble. Mm -hmm. For the lowest sounds on this organ, there's not one subwoofer, but there's a separate 32-foot long pipe for each of the notes, each of the pipes. There are dozens and dozens of those that create a feeling in the room where you can feel the air move around you. You think playing a keyboard is confusing? Well, try keeping up with Paolo. And so each of the five keyboards has 61 keys. The pedal board, which duplicates what the keyboards uh, do, has 32 more keys on it. And then, of course, there are hundreds of controls that do different things for the instrument. And, and you're able to keep track of this all at once? That's all part of the job, is you have to know what's cooking at every moment, where the sound is going to come from, how loud or soft, how low or high, and which keyboard to play on in every moment. That's, that's part of what an organist does. Sounds so, like somebody has indigestion there. That, that's playing, that's a contrabassoon, and it's playing an octave lower than the double basses of the orchestra. We don't even hear that low. What you hear are overtones, and, and it creates the illusion that you're hearing the note, but our hearing doesn't go down to 16 hertz. A world wonder, the largest pipe organ in New York City. You have to see in person to truly experience. So if you ladies want to see the largest pipe organ in New York City, St. Bart's is on the east side of Park Ave between 50th and 51st. And Paolo is actually performing a New Year's Eve concert Saturday night at 11. So if you're not looking to get all rowdy in Times Square, maybe you can head <laughs> on over there for something a little more somber. But I do have to say, oftentimes in these segments, we're encouraged to go out and experience and, and play the organ. But I'll just put this out there. There was like an eight foot radius around that. Uh, instrument. Uh, They're like, Ryan, don't even get near this thing. Yeah. This is like a national icon. So but you didn't I mean, even touch it because I was just going to uh, ask you, how bad did you just want to like do this? His very inner badly. child. That's, his inner child. Yeah, that's all I wanted to do. Because mine was like dying right yeah, now. It was, it was a lot of fun though. And it was just beautiful to, to hear that classical yeah, music. That so. sounds amazing. Yeah. All right, Ryan. Thanks so much. You're very welcome.